Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful sunny day at the lake and I'm in a garden. Wanted to show you something really exciting. Well, the grass is looking good. <laughs> it is so funny. There's little green patches here and there. And as this part is shady, we have less grass started here. But there is something really, really exciting in that corner. And oh, I spotted a little bee. Oh, it's gone. Uh, it is so funny, little thing. It just floats in the air. Oh. Anyway, I wanted to show you. I'm trying not stepping on the grass just if i can't so i'm walking here on those stones look at the hot geraniums they're huge now but um the exciting thing is actually here in this corner look at that oh can you see that this is the first fritillary look at that oh isn't she beautiful isn't she just gorgeous we have another one starting here, but it doesn't look, it looks sad now. I don't know why. Anyway, first fritillary. I never ever grown one in my life. And this one is the first from the bulb. From the bulbs that I planted this um, winter. And here is another one. And there are a few more, but this is first one blooming and she's gorgeous. So happy about that. And then we have higher scenes, which are almost ready to bloom. This is it. Back in the little bedroom. It looks really nice. Uh, I have started patching the big holes in the walls. And um, this wall is more or less ready for... For the next layer and this wall still needs another layer of the same thing here and um, i think this is what i'm gonna do today i will i have two bags where they are two bags like that with the wall thing and i will apply i think two of them will be gone on this wall and this is it. Um, those two walls, I I was recommended to use a tile glue to apply over the old paint. Um, the blue one doesn't flake out. It's quite solid though, so it's gonna work. And yeah, this is it. And the weather is just so lovely. Maybe. Actually, I have some seeds to sow today. I might go outside after the first bucket of 70 stuff. I might go outside and play a little bit in the garden. This is what I want to do every single day. <laughs> anyway, coming back to the little bedroom. It's not that bad. It's so much better than it used to be yesterday morning with all the holes. <laughs>
so far this is my progress um this patch looks so much better now smoother and i have to finish it up to the ceiling and then i think with this type of mortar it will be done here so the next layer will be the other thing <laughs> and it's not bad it's not bad at all it's not falling apart it's quite solid so i'm happy with the result I need to find summer hats for summer works in the house. <laughs> but um, oh, the dust, uh, the first bag is gone. Uh, yeah, I think the second bag will be just enough to cover the rest of the wall. And it looks really nice. It looks so much better already. To be honest, every time oh my nose is in the cement. Every time I'm riding, it's like it's horrible. It's so bad seeing all these like patches and still I can see some rocks sticking out of the walls and it's just so bad. But now when I see like at least one patch nice and smooth, that makes me really happy. So how um, a human being can be so happy about smooth patch of cementy stuff on the wall. I don't know. Um, but I will have a little break now. Maybe I will go into... Oh, I'll play a little bit in the garden. Yes, yes, I'll sow some seeds now. And uh, then I'm back here and I'm doing next bag of the cementy stuff and I'm applying and hopefully the rest of the wall will be, will be nice and smooth as well. Here in my basket I have something really, really cool. Well, this is not the old banana. <laughs> this is not cool at all. <laughs> but I have that and I will show you what's inside. Look at that. And these are, these tiny, tiny little things are seeds. And these are seeds of Irish moss, which I want to grow in between the stepping stones. But I wasn't expecting them, them to be that small. Look at that. How am I supposed to grow, like, ground cover from those seeds? Each pack contains, um, so there is information here, it is Irish moss, 100 seeds. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. Germinates in 14th, 21st day. I can't believe it. So today is a good day to sow some seeds. What, this is what I'm gonna do and we will see. <laughs> if the Irish moss appears from those seeds. I have decided to sow them in one of those containers. And so I put some soil, like maybe two centimeters. I compacted it, it is nice and moist. And I will, how many bags? I have, I have three, Four bags so I will maybe sew one bag in one one section and we will see what happens actually I'm not expecting much from this 
I mean, I've never ever grown in my life moss from the seed, which is just, I mean, who grows moss from the seed? Usually what you do, you just take a piece of moss and it just multiplies. Well, we will try. Right, two sections. I've done the whole bag in one section, so two you have two bags in those two, and then the rest um, of the seeds there were two more bags. I split half of the bag in one section. Well, I mean, I tried, I can't really see the seeds because they're teeny tiny, but I tried to make half and half, and here they are. Ah, if you can see those tiny little things and what she says the lady who sells them the seeds uh, la, 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 uh, do not cover uh, so I don't I'm really scared they're gonna be blown away by wind but I did the thing, I covered just a little bit, just I sprinkled two of those sections and the, the rest I left uncovered. So yeah, we will see what happens. <laughs> now every day we'll be checking the moss. <laughs> and then in this little bed I already have some seeds starting and I've decided to do another little patch of salad because we have lettuce starting here and by the time we finish this one <laughs> there will be another patch and I saw a different, saw different type of salad there here I have chives and I think they are starting these are tiny baby chives here is spinach and we will harvest oh look this one still has um, <laughs> seed and it's on the tip of the leaf so we will harvest uh, baby spinaches so here they are then chart and um i decided to make a row of um radishes here so 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 where are they let's have a look the radishes oh i can't oh let's try to do this one I think I haven't done this one yet. Yeah, this one is a new pack. Um, this is the one my mom brought. And um, it says it's ready in two weeks. So let's, let's try this one. Now while my Irish moss is germinating, <laughs> I don't know if that if that's gonna happen ever. Uh, it, if it will, I will be the happiest person on planet growing Irish moss from the seed. Well, I've made the whole bag of, of the mortar and I'm ready to go with the wall. So it will never be that ugly again. Actually looking at all those and the bags and just walls in that state and the window and well 
that's not that bad but anyway looking at this wall in this state I can't really imagine that it's gonna be a day I will be painting my murals here I madly want to start this project so I'm ready to tackle down all the plastering and and preparing the wall for painting because I just can't wait I can't wait Just look at that, nice and smooth. <laughs> oh, well now it feels like some kind of progress. <laughs> Actually, it looks really good. Oh, now I can't wait uh, for this coat to dry and then when I will be applying the last one, it will be all nice and clean and smooth. Um, not sure about even because nothing is even in this house, but that's totally fine. Um, really, really pleased with the result. Um, I will be going, working a little bit more, like maybe half an hour with my scraper here. Um, around the window and then maybe maybe I'm thinking maybe tomorrow I can try to apply the um, kind of not finished coat but um, the other type of thing on this wall um, and yeah because I just can't wait to try <laughs> and to see the more or less finished result um, not the finished result, but something really pleasant and nice and white <laughs> with no cracks and stains and patches. So maybe tomorrow I could do that. Um, yeah, and the sun is shining, the birds are singing. I'm working with the windows open and it is so nice here in the little bedroom. Uh, I'm also looking forward to go back home early today just to relax a bit as I'm too obsessed with the plastering and fixing things because, to be honest, that sometimes it feels we have no progress at all. And that happens really frequently. <laughs> so this is another good thing about YouTube channel. I can look back and actually see what have we done every day because if not, I will be... <laughs> I would have been really, really depressed. Um, yeah, as it doesn't feel like we are doing anything. <laughs> Last rays of, sh of sunshine in the garden. <laughs> Very funny shadow from our house, but look how pretty the grass is from here. From below here, it looks almost perfect green. Oh, this is so good! Now I can't wait to see all the little dahlia starting here in this bed. Right now, it's really bare soil, but in just one month, it will be all different. And um, this bed is mostly done. We have two spots, one here and one there for two roses. And very exciting news is that um, Sergi has received, he sent me this picture. And, ah, shame I'm not there to receive the roses, but they're waiting for me. So I made an order online on roses because um, I was dreaming about a few roses from David Austin and they are uh, out of of stock for for really long time but here in Italy I found a nursery and they do sell these varieties so I ordered and those two roses will be going there uh, I hope I hope they're in the pack and oh, I just I just can't wait to see this 
terrace starting. It's just so pretty. It makes such a big difference. Look, the garden and the house looks different from here. Well, it is really messy here in the summer kitchen, but never mind. <laughs> And here in this corner, you can hear the stream and you can see the mountains and the house itself. Also, you can see all the future job that has to be done, all the brambles and bushes and roots to be excavated, uh, dirt. <laughs> but this is, a, this is a good side. It's a future project. This bed is almost done. Oh, this is so, so lovely. And I will be going home now to have a look at my parcel with roses. And I finished for today. I wish you all a very good day and see you tomorrow. Bye.